What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, uh, we just finished the sinking city. We just did it. It's over. So right now I am here doing something I will be doing at the end of every series from now on and that will be my wrap up video. In this wrap up video, I will be uh, telling you guys about what I thought of the game. So let's get started, shall we? Um, wow. Okay, sinking city has been a lot of fun. Agree to disagree, it's been a lot, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, however, I do have some points where I would like to point out what could have been improved from Frog Games and um, Frog Wares and uh, let's go over those points, shall we? Something I do really enjoy in the game is the, um, is the combat. The combat has always been kind of smooth and fun. Uh, I do really think the bullet management and everything in the game, uh, you never really are out too much. You always uh, you walk into a random house and you can always just find ammo everywhere. Uh, I like the creation system and everything that is uh, in that. So that's all been really nice and done. Um, whatever I don't like about the combat though is that it usually is always the same. What you have throughout the game is uh, you quickly come out with a few monsters left and right and they kind of just stay the same the entire game. It doesn't take you long to meet the big guy, which, um, well, it just doesn't take long. And after him, there isn't anything new. There's nothing new after him. So that's kind of a thing that I uh, was pretty bummed out about. Uh, some other things I didn't like was the NPCs. They don't interact much. There is uh, not much interaction between them. Because whenever you bump into... Okay, th this maybe isn't a big deal for some people, but it's something that I thought made it feel a bit rushed was that whenever you play the game you would example bump into people they would tell you uh they would give you like stop doing that they would tell you that but however if you bump into just a random guy you will have the voice he has and it will go like don't do that but when you touch a black man for example in the character or uh, an insmouther which is the fish faced they have different voices when you go into the dialogue with them um, but however, when you bump into them in the street, they don't. They all have one voice line. Uh, even if you bump into like eight, nine people at the same time, it would just they will all be repeating the same thing. And also, I feel like they didn't put too much effort in it with the female characters because the female characters will just sound really robotic. Um, there's not much diversity in their voices at all. There isn't in any NPC. Um, also, what I've noticed is some characters, uh, which I know during the series, they really look similar. It's like there isn't, they maybe have different clothes on, but their features are exactly the same. One character wouldn't have a beard while the other one does. They are not very diverse with the characters they put into the game. Which is, um, which is just another thing that makes it feel really rushed. And it's kind of a bummer because I did really enjoy the game and I would think these little details would have made this game a lot better. Because, for example, if you look uh, at the scenery in the games, for example, when you go into buildings, almost no building is alike. Another point I want to point out is when you see crimes in the street and you are a detective, you try to stop a crime, you will be punished for stopping a crime. The only way to stop a crime is to either punch someone or shoot somebody in the face, but if you punch him, um, they would just turn aggressive and start fighting you and you have to kill him anyway. Um... That's kind of weird, because I thought you were being a detective, you could at least find those points in the game. Um, another thing is when you are exploring the game, you can enjoy, enjoy the scenery, uh, which is very nice. But once you go exploring areas, which you think you can't be exploring, and there's absolutely nothing in the building. There's nothing there, there's nothing to find, it's just an empty building, even though it does look like a secret thing you have in most games where you could just explore and maybe find something fun. Uh, the Sacred City does not offer that and that's kind of a thing that I am pretty bummed out about. But um, beside that we go to the art style, the fighting and everything like that. The game has been really good. Uh, I really enjoyed that part. Uh, I did think the ending was a bit disappointing because it, it, it didn't give you much. It didn't show you any of the chaos even though that was what we were aiming for in the Let's Play. But, um, yeah, beside that, it has been a really fun time. And 
the detective work and everything in the game is done really well. And I would like to say that I really appreciated it. So my uh, review for The Sick and City, I'll be giving it uh, a 6 out of 10. Because I uh, do think there is a lot of improvement. And however, the game was fun. I do feel like it has been a bit rushed. So thank you guys for watching. And on Friday the 27th, we'll be starting up Wolfenstein. Which I will be uploading, spam uploading the entire weekend. And I hope to see you guys there. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next Let's Play. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.